everyone, and welcome to our Clean Water Minute. I'm Sam Briggs, and I'm the Save Our Streams Manager at the Isaac Walton League, and today we're going to talk about nitrates. So if only we had someone here that we could talk about nitrates with. Did someone say nitrates? Hey, well, well, why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Dwayne Havorka. I'm the Agriculture Program Director at the Isaac Walton League. Thanks, Dwayne. Thanks for coming by. Um, so why are excess nitrates bad in our streams? Too many nitrates can cause too much algae to grow. When that happens, that can clog our streams and our rivers. And then when that algae dies, the bacteria that eats it up can use up the oxygen in the water. And that oxygen is needed for the fish, for crabs, for other critters. Wow, that's so interesting. So where do those excess nitrates come from? Nitrates can come from runoff from livestock manure, from fertilizer used on farms, fields, homes and golf courses, even from factories and uh, sewage treatment plants. Wow, so it sounds like we have to be mindful about like what we're washing down our drains, the waste we're producing, and what we're putting on our lawns and farm fields. Absolutely. All right, so thank you, Dwayne. So now we're gonna do a nitrate test together. Um, so we use these cough test strips here. And the first thing you need to do when you're taking a t doing a test strip test is check the expiration date because the tests might not work after they've expired. So that's our first thing to do. They're usually on the bottom printed here. This expires in 2019, so we're good to go. Um, the next thing you need to do is read the instructions because depending on the lot of test strips that you have, it might have different timing for your test strips that you're taking here. So we're gonna do this. Our instructions say to dip the strip into the water for one second, and then he's gonna pull it out Pull it, pull uh, the strip level for 30 seconds. So we're going to hold the strip level for 30 seconds. Make sure you have a timer out and you're watching the clock on that. And then when you're ready and your 30 seconds are up, you're going to compare the colors for your nitrate test strip here. So you can see that you're going to hold it here and compare the colors. And we can track that over time. Now this looks like it's going to be in the one to two range for our nitrate levels. Um, the drinking water standards for the EPA is about 10 here. So we're not quite at that level, which is good. That means our nitrate levels are pretty low. Um, so you can tune in next week's uh, Clean Water Minute. We're going to talk about phosphates, which should be pretty interesting. And you can always visit iwla.org SOS for more information. Thank you.